Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to set up your Hadoop cluster using Cloudera Manager. So let's get going. Now let's quickly summarize uh, what are the ways to set up your cluster and where does Cloudera Manager come. So let's first see what we've done so far in the previous videos. In the previous videos, we set up four machines machine 1, machine 2, machine 3 and machine 4. Machine 1 was Delhi, machine 2 was Mumbai, machine 3 was Kolkata and machine 4 was Chennai. So we first rented out these machines. On these machines, we first installed Java installed Hadoop. After that, we changed configs. We wired the whole cluster and we tested whole cluster. Now this entire process was manually done by us one by one and that was amazing for the learning perspective. Now setting up cluster is one thing, after setting up cluster, if we wanted to change a configuration, we would be basically changing configs on each machine manually. If we wanted to add a node, we would add a new node manually and so on and so forth. Now let's just say that everything that we wanted to do or everything that we did was to be done manually and this could become very, very error prone very cumbersome and for a four node cluster this was perfectly okay had we been setting up a thousand node cluster this could have been an absolute nightmare setting up a thousand node cluster by first acquiring machines installing operating system installing java hadoop changing the configurations on each machine wiring them together and if there are errors fixing them would have been really really tough that's why cluster management or cluster setup and management is sometimes called as a black art and at best we should kind of find a way to automate it. So if we want to automate this entire cluster setup and management, there are tools available like Puppet and Chef. Puppet and Chef are generic automation tool where you can configure what you want to automate and then it will automate that for you. Again, here you will have to convey Puppet and Chef what exactly you are supposed to automate. Again, that is still fairly tough. But there is another tool which is tailor-made for this use case and that's Cloudera Manager. Cloudera Manager is a tool that is tailor-made for Hadoop setup. And it's not only a setup but a control room for your Hadoop cluster. Let's see what all you can do with Cloudera Manager. First, you can install Hadoop on all machines and set up a cluster. You can add new nodes. You can remove nodes. You can install services. You can uninstall services. You can restart services you can add new services you can manage configs you can change configs you can manage cluster on a host level that means you can keep track of each and every host you can manage cluster on a service level so all the machines that are running data node you can manage them like that you can give user access as to who has what access in the cluster or to the Cloudera manager. You can set up alerts. You can view logs, manage ecosystem projects. In a nutshell, this is a control station 
for your Hadoop cluster. This is a control station for your Hadoop cluster. And in this particular video, we are going to do all of that. So basically in the previous videos, we did entire thing in a manual way where we typed everything. In this particular video, we are going to basically automate the entire process. And we say, when we say we are automating the entire process right from the installation to the setup of the cluster and management of cluster, everything would be done 100% in an automated way. So let's see what is going to be an entire process here. The first step that we are going to have is we will be purchasing or renting out one CentOS machine. And on this machine, we will install Cloudera Manager. Then we will acquire four more machines. And on these machines, we will basically have CentOS. And we will educate Cloudera Manager about these four machines and Cloudera Manager will basically install Hadoop on all these four machines. And we will have a cluster setup done. So one important thing, Cloudera Manager sits outside your cluster. It's not part of your cluster. It is outside your cluster. So on a high level, step one is rent a machine. Step two, set up Cloudera Manager. Step three, rent four more machines. Step four, instruct Cloudera Manager to install Hadoop on all four machines. Step five is test and verify your cluster. So that's the agenda of this particular lab. So let's start by logging into Amazon and purchasing first machine where we will install Cloudera Manager. Once we install Cloudera Manager, we will purchase four more machines which will have um, CentOS in them. And then we will educate Cloudera Manager to install Hadoop on all those four machines. Let's get going. So let's first go to Amazon and let's just say that Let's just launch an instance. So let's first make sure that none of the instances are running. So right now none of the instances are running. Let's first launch the first instance that we want to have and that will be a CentOS machine. So it's CentOS 6.5. We get the first machine, we say select. Let's buy a machine that has 8 GB RAM. So go for M3 large. We'll have one machine and we'll go for 100 gig. We will call this machine as Cloudera Manager. We'll select a default group say review and launch and we have a key called as my demo ec2.p so what we've done so far is we have bought our first machine that is called as cloudera manager machine on this machine we will install cloudera manager so let's first say view instances
it'll take a minute for machines to start So let's connect to this machine. So sometimes when you connect first time, Amazon machines may take some time to connect. That's something you might have to try a couple of times. So here we are. So we are successfully logged in to the machine where we want to install Cloudera Manager. Now there is a small limitation that uh, we will have to tackle when it comes to Amazon. By default, when you purchase a machine on Amazon, you would get, typically for CentOS, you would get the base volume to be 8 GB. So even if we purchase a machine with 100 GB, hard disk, we will still get the base volume as 8 GB. It's our job to resize it. Let's understand what we are trying to say. So let's say when you run a command lsblk, it clearly shows us that our root volume is 100 GB. Our root volume is 100 GB. But when you do a df-h, what you see is that our root volume is just 8 GB. That's a property of CentOS on Amazon. So before we go any further, it is our job to educate CentOS that listen, we have purchased a machine with 100 GB hard disk and not 8 GB hard disk. And to do that, we'll have to run a command that says resize to FS dev xvde this is our way of saying mr centos we have purchased the root volume to be 100 gb and you have given it for 8 gb can you please resize yourself now once we resize it uh, we will be able to get 100 gb and this is an unfortunate process that you will have to do every time you buy a centos machine so the next four centos machines that we will buy for uh, cloudera manager or hadoop setup we will also have to repeat this process. This process can sometimes take uh, three to four minutes and we'll wait about, uh, we'll go about waiting about that. So it's resizing right now, may take three minutes to four minutes.
Okay, so the resizing is done. Let's quickly verify if resizing is done. So we will say DF-H and what we see is that the base volume has respected our call that yes, base OS or base volume should be 100 GB. It should be 100 GB. And at this moment, we are 100% done when it comes to the machine. The next step is we are supposed to install Cloudera Manager on this machine. There are two more steps to be done. First step is disabling SC Linux. And second is let's also disable the firewall so that we can access it from outside. Disabling firewall has to be done only for this setup. In real world, when you are setting it up in your organization, you don't have to disable firewall. Your network team would basically open those ports for you. And internally, you don't really have to worry about firewall. So here, let's do Say chk ip config ip tables of this will ensure that the firewall is turned off the next step for us is to basically disable sc linux sc linux has to be disabled because for installation of cloudera manager you will have to reduce the security of your linux so let's do disabling of sc linux In SC Linux, we'll simply have disabled. So what we have right now is SC Linux is completely disabled. At this moment, we are 100% ready with the installation step of Cloudera Manager. So in the next step, we'll install Cloudera Manager. But before we do that, uh, we will have to restart the machine for CHK config changes to be taking place. So let's restart the machine. So here we go. We've restarted this machine. Uh, should take a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, the steps to install Cloudera Manager on Amazon are documented. So just visit google.com and say installing Cloudera Manager 4 on EC2. 5 is already in the market but that may have some issues. That's why you should go for CDH4. When you go for CDH4 and you look at this particular thing, you will see that all the steps are documented the way we have done. All we now need to do is install wget download Cloudera Manager RPM and install Cloudera Manager. So let's do that right now. Once we are in the in the machine, let's install wget, let's install Cloudera Manager and we will be ready with the Cloudera Manager setup. So let's get going. So this is the Cloudera Manager installation. Let's connect the machines. Before that, let's install wget. We don't have wget so far. yum by install wget. So this will install wget on our machine and we are ready with wget. The next step we will do is we'll install Cloudera Manager. Cloudera Manager installation should take 
couple of minutes we'll have to make cloudera manager executable and just run the command so just like a normal uh, installation cloudera manager would basically have uh, certain terms and conditions we just have to uh, accept them go one by one and we'll have cloudera manager installed so here we have a small readme file we will simply go ahead it's agreement do we accept the license absolutely and along with that cloudera would want to install cloudera manager would also want to install java jdk and it's our job to just accept the license and cloudera manager will take care of it now this should take couple of minutes and we'll have cloudera manager 100% installed So uh, what we get a notification is that Cloudera manager is 100% installed. It's only time right now that we simply click OK and visit Cloudera manager. So we say OK and installation was successful. At this moment Cloudera manager is 100% installed on our machine. Just to understand the services if you go to etc and itd you see that cloudera scm server is a service that has got installed this is the service to start or restart your cloudera manager as of now our cloudera manager is completely installed so we do, and it is completely running so we don't have to worry it's time for us to just access Cloudera Manager. How do you access it? The port number on which Cloudera Manager is running is 7180. What we are going to do is we will take the public IP and we will again add it to our host file. So these are our previous host file entries. We'll remove them. So next what we do is we simply go to AWS console and find the public IP and the public IP is 5212.106.164 let's add that here and let's call it as Cloudera Manager. We'll have to use sudo. Let's do that.
so we have cloudera manager let's ping cloudera manager and we are able to ping it so let's open browser and say cloudera manager 7180 and we suddenly find ourselves on the ui So we'll use admin admin as username password admin admin you can visualize this as a default username password now <clears throat> cloudera manager comes in three versions actually two versions there is an standard version which is free the standard version is 100 percent free and you can manage a cluster of any size with that just that you won't get uh, additional features so when you go for standard, you get Hadoop free and you get core features of Cloudera Manager free. But you don't get stuff like Cloudera Navigator. You don't get features like backup and disaster recovery. And you don't get any advanced features. When it comes to enterprise, you get the amount of nodes can be unlimited. You get CDH, core features. You get Cloudera support, Navigator support, backup and disaster recovery and the advanced features. Now, the next thing is, we are going to do this for a demo perspective only. So for us, the best thing that works out is a 60 day trial. We are gonna have it for 60 minutes only. So we'll have a 60 day trial here. But yeah, in case in your production, if you already have a license from Cloudera, you can click on upload license and upload the license here. So let's go for enterprise, click next. Now what it expects us is go ahead and start Cloudera SCM server. So let's restart that. Now this should take couple of minutes for the whole thing to get reflected. So in two minutes we can access the browser again and we will have Cloudera manager up and running for me. Once we have Cloudera Manager up and running for us, it will be time for us to buy four machines and set them up. So once we have those four machines, we buy them, we'll connect to them and it will be time for us to install Hadoop on those four machines. It should take two minutes for us to uh, for Cloudera Manager to initialize all the services. So we'll have to access browser after two minutes. So let's visit Cloudera Manager URL right now. Go for admin, admin. And what we find ourselves now is that Cloudera Manager is ready for setup. Now there are two ways to do something. One is a classic wizard in classic wizard we will purchase machines and we will set it up and in the normal continue wizard that we will see in the next video we will not be purchasing machines cloudera manager will purchase machines for us, us and we will basically be able to set up the cluster so in first case we will go with classic wizard so the difference is in classic wizard it is our responsibility to purchase for machines and set up the cluster in the other wizard cloudera manager will purchase 
purchase four machines for us using our credit card and do the entire process so in the first case we will go for classic wizard in the next section when we do another demo we will go for the normal wizard now the installer will enable us to install services like apache hadoop hbase zookeeper uzi hive u uh, flume impala scoop and cloudera search so it's time for us to go for it now this is the location where we are supposed to educate cloudera manager about the four servers so far we haven't purchased four servers so first we will purchase four servers and educate cloudera manager that these are the four servers we have purchased please install hadoop on them so let's quickly do that we'll say launch instance we'll say aws marketplace we'll go for centos 6.5 we'll select them and this time we'll go for 8 gb machines but 4 in number say so 4 go for 100 and resize on each and every machine just for identification we'll just call it as cloudera slaves choose an existing security group go for my demo is to and say launch instance so this is launching four instances for us in cloudera manager we can also give patterns so here we are with four instances launched so here we have four slaves we'll connect to each and every slave disable the firewall first we'll disable the firewall second we'll resize them to 100 gb so let's have each and every machine up and we'll do that right now so let's connect to slave number 1 just to ensure that uh, we have enough space on screen we'll connect to the machines one by one so we are connecting to the first machine so first service ip tables save service ip tables stop and it's time to resize the file system to 100 should take couple of minutes so we log into each and every machine and make sure everybody has 100 gigs of space in the next uh, step we will then educate cloudera manager that these are the four machines we've purchased cloudera manager will scan those machines and will try to connect once it connects it will install java hadoop set up entire hadoop and we'll have cloudera manager up and running
So it's resizing the first machine. We'll ensure that we resize all the four machines. So the first machine is done and we are ready with machine number one. Let's connect to machine number two right now. So Cloudera slave one is done, Cloudera slave two, the same process is to repeat. service IP tables save service IP tables stop config IP tables off chk config IP tables off let's resize so it's resize to fs dev should take another couple of minutes So once we are done with this machine, we'll go to the third machine. It uh, should take a couple of minutes. It's done. It's time to go to the third machine. So we are here for slave number three.
So this is the third machine. We'll perform the same operation on machine number four and we'll have all the four machines ready. After that, we'll put the host name of all these four machines to Cloudera Manager and Cloudera Manager will identify them and we will say let's go select and the whole process of installation will start. So while this happens, let's be ready with machine number four. It's done. Just to verify, just put df hyphen h. It's done. Let's exit this machine and let's connect to machine number four. So this is the last slave that would require this. So after we are done with this slave, we will be ready. So here we are, this is the fourth machine in the series. So while this happens, the next step for us is to to get the host names or private host names for each and every machine. So the private host name for each and every machine is this so let's get that so that's our machine number one let's take machine number two and machine number four. So let's ensure this machine is done and we will get Cloudera Manager to scan all the four machines and then start the installation. So this machine is also done. So 
So we'll have to tell Cloudera Manager that these are the four machines we have purchased. Can you please scan for them? And Cloudera Manager says, yes, we are able to ping all of these machines and the response time was just 570 milliseconds that all these four machines responded. We'll click continue. And the Cloudera Manager will now start installing in here we are simply going ahead and saying that please install everything that's there. You can use RPM packages or parcels which are given by Cloudera Manager. So leave everything default. Then it asks us the fact that how do I log into those machines? We have Cloudera Manager and there are four machines. Cloudera Manager has to log into those four machines to install Hadoop. How is How does it log in? We'll say use root give it the private key and the private key is available which is my demo ec2.pm just verify for everyone it is my demo ec2.pm so we convey that there is no passphrase and we say continue. We don't have any passphrase, so we are okay with that. It's time for Cloudera Manager to now connect to all the four machines. So it's actually talking to all the four machines. We saw that it was successfully able to ping all the machines. Now it's trying to connect all the machines. So there could be, sometimes there would be a problem and you'll have to leave that machine out. Otherwise, most of the times the installation would get through. The only thing you have to be aware is that yes, uh, the machine should be pinged. You should be able to ping the machine and that we saw if it was already working. So most common problem would be that. Now you see that Cloudera Manager is installing JDK on all the four machines. Later it will start installing Hadoop on all the four machines. Then it's installing Cloudera Manager package.
so on one of the machine is completely installed we are waiting for remaining machines So now that all the four machines are done, we simply have to click continue. Now, so far it was just downloading and keeping Hadoop on all the machines. This is where the real installation process is beginning. So this should take a couple of minutes. And right now you could say that Cloudera manager is being downloaded on all those machines from the Cloudera repository. So here our goal is to have Cloudera CDH to be installed. Uh, once we have that, it will start the entire setup. It will start the entire setup. So you see Impala is completely downloaded. Solar is a search product. Uh, it's kind of part of the ecosystem. And uh, then you have uh, Hadoop getting installed. Solar is also downloaded and right now it's Cloudera that is getting or Cloudera Hadoop that is getting downloaded. The same process will remain for CDH5. The only difference is right now CDH5 Cloudera manager is not that stable. So you may run into issues where you will have to restart the process of installing couple of times. That's the idea. So for demo purpose we are using CDH4. But that doesn't really matter because end of the day, there is only the only skill that you require is clicking the mouse button. So it's going to be same. So for the sake of clarity of the demo, we are using CDH4 because it's rock solid and production ready. CDH5 is also production ready. That is Cloudera Manager 5. But sometimes there is a glitch. So that's why you just have to be uh, careful. You might have to restart the process a couple of times. So even CDH is downloaded. Then there'll be a quick check. Because of uh, Amazon virtualization, you may get one or two warnings, but ignore them because they are not a deal breaker. So it's just checking the environment and then finally it will start the setup process.
and here we are so these are all the versions of softwares that are getting installed now once you click continue the entire setup will begin the entire setup uh, may be a couple of minutes so let's do that we'll simply go with core hadoop or we can go with all services so we'll simply go with all services there will be a couple of warnings we can go for we will go for embedded databases we will not be using any custom databases and let's make sure that the connections are tested so stuff like hive reports activity monitor may require uh, some database connectivity we are using embedded databases that means we are not creating our own database hosts So all the databases have been configured successfully. Now in case you don't want to do uh, go for embedded database, you can give your own credentials of databases and Cloudera Manager will create them. Then click on continue. Now these are set of configurations that um, it expects you for ex to basically know because we'll be using the default one. So when we did multi node setup, we remember DFS data node directory. We are using DFS DN, the default one on all the slaves. So these are some of the configurations that it informs us and we will say that we'll keep it default for now. and we say continue so there are 23 steps that will take place should take 10 minutes where entire cluster will be ready in another 10 minutes
So we are on step 16, 7 more steps and our cluster will be 100% ready. So it's time for you, Cloudera Management Services and Deployment, Client Config Deployment to be done. Three more steps and the cluster would be 100% up. So that brings us to the end of cluster setup and we would get the final message from Cloudera manager that our cluster is 100% set up. So congratulations, our Hadoop services are installed, configured and running on our cluster. So we have everything up and running with couple of warnings which we'll figure out. So right now what we have is Cloudera Manager and a Hadoop cluster running with HBase, HDFS, Hive, U, Impala, MapReduce, UZ, Scoop and Zookeeper. So in the next video we'll do a quick walkthrough. Let's quickly understand what we did so far. We fired our first machine we installed Cloudera Manager, we fired four machines and we educated Cloudera Manager about that 
and the Cloudera Manager set up Hadoop on them and completely installed Hadoop on them. So this was entire Cloudera Manager based installation. In the next video, we will see the features of Cloudera Manager. So this was Cloudera Manager. Thanks for watching this video.